The Great Falls Iceplex is receiving a small facelift or maybe getting some updates to the rink. MTN's Owen Scornick Hayes has all of the details. Here at the Great Falls Iceplex on what is the last day of public skating. As the season comes down to a close, I spoke with some of the head officials about the progress being made towards renovation and a review on the entire season. As the season winds down at the Great Falls Iceplex, President Mark Finnicum reflects on another successful year. We've had a really wonderful season this year. I think we've had record number of open skates for public to come in and skate. Our youth hockey groups are very, very full. Our adult leagues are full. The complex and its staff look to make some fundamental changes to the arena's makeup. The original redesigns were proposed back in 2019, but this hopes to be the summer the changes are implemented. Our first goals are to, uh, to renovate the ice sheet out there. There's, some, there's systems underneath the ice that we want to fix um, and make it where it's a better skating surface for everybody. Once we get the ice surface so that it's in concrete, then we can do events all year long. The multi-use facility would be more efficiently used while expanding its qualifications with the implementation of another phase of construction. We have the Great Falls Americans and University of Providence that each would have a locker room in there. Plus we want to have three public skate locker rooms where people can go in in the warm and change instead of out here in the, with a nice sheet behind them. When we do have more heated locker rooms, then we can actually host USA sanctioned youth state tournaments. Much of the money has been raised, though the Iceplex say they're still working with donors. We looked at the facility as a whole and as a board and came up with a master plan on everything that we wanted. And of course, the big picture item, it's in excess of $8 million. And we've been knocking on doors and talking with businesses, and we've had su success with some big-name donors out there that have really stepped forward. From Great Falls, Owens Corner Case, MTN News.